Hello, friends. As you know that we have been learning very interesting unit from your paper second, that is fruit processing industries. We know that actually many more products are produced at our places in the last lecture or previous lecture. I have given you example that is of a mango pickle. Today, at your places, at our places, we can prepare very interesting product interesting fruit processing produce that is of a jam here my friends you have to keep in mind a jam which type of fruits we have to take which type of precautions we have to take in that preparation and then at our places homemade product but not only you have to believe in the homemade product but in your future you will have to think about just to produce this is on a large scale and be a I have to say that the businessman be as an entrepreneur uh, just to sell the jam itself now in case of the jam jam is the preserve made from the whole fruit boiled to a pulp with sugar isn't it so here one thing is you have to keep in mind the pulp is to be take out from the fruit and add some required amount of the sugar into that one and boil that one isn't it put boiled to a pulp with a sugar we have to add into it. that is a jam it is prepared by the boiling of the fruit pulp with a sufficient quantity sufficient quantity of a sugar to reasonable thick consistency firm enough to hold the tissues in the position so this is the actually jam is there in its preparation about 20.4 kilogram of a fruit should be used for and for every 24 point uh, for that 24.9 kilogram of a sugar into that we have to add means in little bit one has to one proportion little bit we have to say that 20 point uh, point four kilogram of a uh, fruit pulp and same amount 24.9 kilogram of a sugar we have to add into that one it should contain le not less than actually 6.5 percent of a soluble solids as determined by the refractive meter when cold and uncorrected for the insoluble salts jams may be made from a single fruit or a from a combination of a two or more fruits my friends you have to keep in mind in the market also jam is available you can taste that one you will come to know that there are the variety of a jams are there this jam is prepared from a only single fruit uh, pulp of a fruit or sometimes two or sometimes more than the two jams pulp is taken into consideration for the preparation of a jam uh, is there now as we know that uh, procedure we have to learn today for making of a uh, mango jam in that one take any fruit accurately here we are preparing in case of the mango jam we have to look at only the mango jam take a fruit accurately wet and wash thoroughly to remove any other in dust and dirt remove all the unwanted fruit parts peel the fruit remove the stones and then crush it or slices the fruit boil the fruit if necessary a small quantity of water is to be added to facilitate pulping it is a cooked sufficiently to liberate a pectin liberate a pectin the ph of the produce and the mixture should be a three before the sugar is added my friends although we are um, uh, going to uh, learn that this is a very simple procedure preparation of jam is there only we have to take out the pulp from that one and then all sort of the things are there uh, boil that one uh, if required add water into that one and after boiling we have to add uh, uh, the required amount of a sugar into that one isn't it so although this method is a very simple but at the time of preparation we have to take a proper care in the sense nobody tells to you such a type of a things means that is a most of times that is their uh, own uh, we have to say that procedures are developed by the each and every we have to say that jump producing company isn't it so you have to keep in mind we have to maintain the ph only three at the time or before the addition of a sugar my friends this is most important point that you have to so some some requirements some equipments should be with you just to measure all these things isn't it so this is a very simple procedure that 
today we are we are going to learn that is preparation of a jam isn't it for the jam any type of a fruit and pulp of fruit we have to take so there is no only the this procedure is applicable for only mango but we have to uh, decide we have to be the expert so for that one as you know that uh, the pilot project isn't it pilot project in the sense at a time we are not going to get a large amount of or large quantity of a pulp we have to actually learn the technique for the first time we are going to prepare these things at our places and we are not having any type of a judgment so small quantity of a pulp we have to take. not 1 kg is pulp required there but we have to take a um, one fourth part of that one isn't it and weigh that one isn't it 250 grams of we have to 250 uh, uh, i have to say that the um, grams of a pulp we have to extract from the fruit from uh, with the help of which we are going to prepare the jam and then after taking into that one first of all what we have to do the suppose fruits are in our hand that are to be washed thoroughly remove the dirt from that one remove if diseased uh, fruits are there don't use that one you have to take healthy fresh uh, ripened fruits you have to take pulp take out from that one isn't it and 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 only you have to take a proper hygienic manner you have to prepare all these things so uh, the fellow who is uh, dealing with this preparation of a jam will have to wear the i have to say that the Uh, hand gloves isn't it each and everything uh, the pots whatever we have to take for the preparation the things whatever we are we are going to use there the each and everything we have to get sterilized or should be washed thoroughly isn't it rinsed with the help of a very uh, pure water isn't it so that uh, the jam the content of jam should not we have to say that adulterated by anything so very simple things are there again once again i will give you idea about of the preparation of this one is that take any fruit accurately wet and wash thoroughly to remove any other in dust and dirt weighing is also proper first step is going to tell us that we have to weigh the things because that that that, that things are having a lot of importance at the time of addition of a sugar isn't it proper methodology we have to follow proper procedure we have to follow proper things we have to use and some uh, the our ideas we have to develop isn't it in that one so take a fruit wash accurately wash thoroughly to remove any other in dust and dirt to that one remove unwanted fruit parts isn't it most of times with that fruit unwanted parts also are there that we have to remove isn't it that we have to uh, remove peel the fruit remove the st- uh, stones and then crush it or slices slice the fruit we have to make the slices or crush that one boil the fruit if necessary a small quantity of water at the time of boiling uh, suppose in that pulp sufficient amount of moisture is not there then at the time of a boiling of that pulp it may get uh, we have to say that burn so as to avoid that one if it is required small amount of water isn't it Uh, that is to be added to facilitate the pulping it is a cooked sufficiently to liberate the pectin why we have to cook that one sufficiently just to liberate just to get out the pectin the ph of the produce and the mixture should be a 3 before so boiled pulp is in our hand in that pot we have to check the ph of that if ph is a 3 then only you have to add the sugar into that so this this type of a uh, scientific methodology proper technique technology we have to use at the time of preparation of a jam now ph can be adjusted we, we uh, know that actually ph of each and every pulp is there uh, we have to say that the 3 is there it may be more so suppose that more ph we have to reduce by addition of a salt of citric acid or tartaric acid isn't it or we have to say that we know that at the time we want to increase suppose that there is a low ph we have to add alkali into that one the sodium bicarbonate or calcium carbonate isn't it so either ph of the pulp is a higher we have to make that um, higher than the 3 we have to make it uh, low 
we have to adjust up to the three by the addition of a acid acidic not acid my friends citric acid keep in mind isn't it or suppose that is a we have to say that the low ph pulp is than that of three then what we have to that we have to add some amount of again little bit alkaline bicarbonate isn't it so sodium bicarbonate or calcium carbonate we have to use for that one isn't it add the sugar in it minimum sugar should be at 68.5 percent of the weight of the fruit taken my friends 68.5 percent of the weight of the fruit taken suppose we have taken the fruit that accurately we have weight again we have to add 68.5 percent isn't it so that you have to keep in mind in proper proportion the fruit sugar mixture is then boiled rapidly to concentrate the soluble solids talks about 60 percent isn't it so we have to boil the boiled pulp and added sugar adjusted ph rapidly we have to boil it and concentrate the soluble solids that is about 60 percent now the fruit sugar mixture is then boil rapidly that that we have learned to avoid the excess frothing during the boiling a small quantity of butter or some other brand of edible oil may be added to the boiling mixture the finished jam should be to avoid the excess frothing during the boiling a small quantity of a butter we have to add into that one or other brand of edible oil may be added to the boiling mixture the finished jam should be contain 30 to 50 percent invert invert sugar or glucose to avoid the crystallization of a cane sugar in the jam during the storage isn't it so we have to take a proper care the sugar whatever we have added into the preparation of the jam that should not get crystallized isn't it and so as to avoid that one we have to add the glucose to avoid the crystallization of whatever we have added cane sugar into the jam for the preparation of a jam generally my friends citric tartaric or malic acid which are naturally fruit acids are used to the supplement and the acidity of the fruit for the jam making already i have told you some precautions some methodology some scientific methods we have to follow each and everything follow the protocol scientific protocol follow the things because we have to avoid the adulteration we are interested to make that product healthy one nutritious one and for that one we have to take the care so at the time of adjustment of ph of that uh, pulp boiling pulp boiled pulp three we have to use citric or tartaric or malic acid that is our naturally fruit acids are used to supplement the acidity to the fruit for jam making only permitted edible food colors should be used my friends most of times in the market there are many type of a uh, edible colors brands are there but most of them most of the uh, edible uh, colors are there. they are not permitted by the uh, PFA that is a pollution control one of the um, department is there isn't it pollution food pollution control one of the agencies there that is a PFA that we have we know that so that actually is going to food adulteration is always we have to say that under the control of that uh, unit that department of the government isn't it so that actually uh, never permits the the uh, colors edible colors which are having a legal permission are only we have to use at the time of preparation of a jam these things why i am going to give a stress on that one my friends you will have to keep in mind actually suppose we want to develop ourselves or be a uh, brand producing jam producing um, uh, brand jam producer so we'll have to take all these things natural things so that healthy ones so in the market definitely we will have 
the lot of we have to say that publicity mouth publicity and because of that one we will be able to a uh, produce we will be able to a establish as a entrepreneur or a jam producer generally in case of the fruits fairly rich in a pectin the weight of the finished jam is one and a half time the weight of sugar how much we have to boil how much we will have to uh, product we will get that is also decided with the help of this one now it can be prepared from a lemon papaya using a potassium metabisulfate kms as a preservative or from a jamun a passion fruit peach plum raspberry strawberry grapefruits etc with sodium benzoate as a preservative fruit juice are most commonly packed as a squashes or cordials isn't it when jam is to be packed in a cans it should be a filled hot my friends keep in mind many more methodology we have learned take the uh, very healthy ripened fruits uh, fruits where accurately slice that remove some stones dust uh, then wash uh, properly thoroughly remove stones from that one slice that one after slicing that uh, pulp we have to extract boil that pulp after uh, then maintain the ph3 of that pulp and then add sugar into that one accurately where amount of the sugar into that one isn't it after all these things one thing you have to keep in mind we have to always use the edible oil cheese then preservatives then um, uh, the acids whatever we are going to use just to uh, maintain the ph of that pulp so everything natural isn't it after all that procedure following when jam is to be packed in the cans it should be a filled a hot hot pulp hot jam we have not the pulp pulp plus sugar that is equal to jam so that jam we have to pack in the cans it should be filled a hot and the cans closed and pasteurized for about 30 minutes at 820 degrees centigrade to 800 50 degrees centigrade so right now after pasteurization means we have to fill into the can that can we have to uh, means fill in the can hot again can should be sterilized washed thoroughly properly my friends this is also not here mentioned but you have to keep in mind all the things all the preparations should be in such a way that so that any microbes any uh, adulteration may not get uh, find into the jam itself now such type of a cans once we have filled a hot uh, jam into a can that can has to be packed and then that cans we have to pasteurize for an half hour for an half an hour for 820 to 850 degree centigrade friends thank you you do do you try to prepare because fruits are available in the market many more type of fruits simple fruits I means i have to tell that the uh, strawberry raspberry then papaya all sort of the things are there that you have can use for the preparation of a jam as we know that we can take a single fruit or we can take a more two fruits or more than two fruits also we can use for the preparation of a jam methodology is known to you each and everything is available in the market so you will have to prepare first of all at beginning in the beginning as a pilot project small quantity small amount try to prepare if it is a uh, you succeed into that one then you can go for uh, preparation in a large amount okay so my friends i know that you will prepare these things you will make this practice practice makes man perfect means when you will start to preparation of a jam then you come to the procedure which things are available where these things are useful to us and healthy food material